Hi, this is Thoughts Like Rabbits, Jay speaking. After watching the Brainworms episodes, I got to thinking, how do they work and why are they so effective at taking over their host? Well, it sent me down a rabbit hole multiple times, and I finally decided to share what I figured out. I will be doing my best nature show impression, less disturbing that way. You see these worms? They are Geonosian brainworms, aka uh, Cerebrum vermibus. And these parasites are looking for hosts. They start off as eggs produced by the Geonosian queen, only breaking out of their er, hard shells when they telepathically sense a host nearby. Unlike most parasites, the, uh, they go through the nose. Ew. Normally they go uh, for the brain, but clones aren't their usual host. So this young parasite is testing uh, the, uh, the specimen by slithering down his throat for a personal tour. How's that gross? Once comfortable, it slithers back up and breaks through the ethmoid, uh, 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 ethmoid uh, bone in the brain cavity where it'll get to work and slowly feed on the brain's tasty food supply. Once inside the brain, it secretes a gel that gives it full control of the host's motor functions and senses. The clone's chips uh, uh, could also be mildly affected by this. After having uh, figured out the motor function, it quickly takes more eggs and telepathically tells its siblings what to do you, uh, before they're even out of their shells. This is important as to not wake their new hosts and take over without difficulty. Due to their telepathic hive mind, they can send a message uh, about possible hosts, uh, possible new hosts. When in control, they can use the host's brain like a computer, programming natural responses to mask their presence, even going as far as to use normal language and skills the host possesses. Uh, they, naturally, uh, they naturally sound like this. Most people believe that uh, they could reanimate the dead. That is only half true. Remember the brain gel? After a few weeks, the brain is soaking in it. Because of this, they can hold control until the body can't function anymore. In this state, they're like obedient zombies. On occasion, and, and they will attempt to swap hosts. And they hook the tips of their tails into the brain and poke two-thirds of their bodies out of the host's mouth. In this position, they have limited control, forcing the host to throw themselves at their target, rolling their eyes in the back of their heads. If the jump is unsuccessful, it will retreat back into the host for safety. If the host is still alive, they will leave it alive after the swap in a vegetative state. If the host is killed too soon, they must find a new host. If they can't uh, see the nose, i.e. they have a helmet on, uh, they will just kill the target. Thanks. They're only, uh, uh, they only have two weaknesses. The first is cold, something the cold-blooded Geonosians try to avoid even on their desert world. A human host, due to their warm-blooded nature, can keep the parasite alive longer, even in cold conditions. Bundle up, everybody! The second is head trauma. Since the brain floats in a fluid, it moves around. If the host's head hits a wall, the brain will slam against the skull. Due to the worm's one-and-a-half-foot uh, body, it gets smacked by the brain, leaving it stunned. Not fun. During a food shortage or war, the queen will pump out these eggs by the hundreds. And since the parasites don't care about the host's health, it forces them to not eat, sleep, or get medical help. This survival technique stretches not only the food supply, but also the workforce while most of the young Geonosians are in forced hibernation. Due to the lack of eating, the host dies from starvation and exhaustion within a few days or weeks. Even force users are immune to this parasite's intelligent takeover. After it's left the host permanently, the ex-host uh, will return to a life of normalcy with two differences. PTSD and the inability to smell ever again. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think I missed. We need input. Bye!